All right, y'all, Rebecca here for the next episode of the Monday Mr. Money Mustache Motivation. If you have not heard of him, he is arguably the most popular financial independence retire early blogger there is. On Mondays, I like to read an article of his on my channel so we can discuss in the comment section down below. I think this one is going to be a great one to read. At the end here of 2020, people are going to be considering their financial goals for 2021. So let's jump right into this article. Well, this one is from February 22nd, 2013, but I think it's still relevant for today. This one is titled, Getting Rich from Zero to Hero and One Blog Post. Hi there. If we haven't met, my name is Mr. Money Mustache. I'm the freaky financial magician who retired along with a lovely wife at age 30 in order to start a family as well as start living a great life. We did this on two normal salaries with no lottery winnings or Silicon Valley buyout windfalls by living what we thought was a wonderful and fulfilling existence. It was only after quitting the rat race that we looked around and realized why we had become financially independent while most people, even with higher incomes, end up stuck needing to work until age 65 or later. I'm writing this post to use as kind of a permanent hello since at any given moment in time, about half the readers of this blog are pretty new and casting around wondering where to start on a giant site like this with over 500 published articles. Most people arrive with the same question. I hear Mr. Money Mustache write some useful stuff and many people are building happy wealthy lives for themselves using his advice they are saying, but I'm a busy person how can he make me rich right now? Great question, let's begin. We'll start with a rant which links to a bunch of other stuff. For almost nine years, I've been preaching a different brand of financial advice from what you see in newspapers and magazines. The standard line is that life is hard and expensive, so you should keep your nose to the grindstone, clip coupons, save hard for your kids' college educations, then tuck any tiny slice of your salary that remains into a 401k plan, and pray that nothing goes wrong in the 40 years of career work that it will take to get yourself enough savings to enjoy a brief retirement. Mr. Money Mustache's advice, almost all of that is nonsense. Your current middle class life is an exploding volcano of wastefulness and by learning to see the truth in this statement, you will easily be able to cut your expenses in half, leaving you saving half of your income or two thirds or more. Sound like a fantasy? Not to readers of this blog. What happens when you can save more of your income? As it turns out, spending much less money than you bring in is the way to get rich, the only way. And the effects are surprising. If you can save 50% of your take home pay starting at age 20, you'll be wealthy enough to retire by age 37. If you already have some assets now, you're even closer than that. If you can save 75%, your working career is only seven years. So remember my freaky magician story up in the first paragraph? There was not really any magic. My wife and I just saved about 66% of our pay without really noticing it. And in under 10 years, we woke up and realized we didn't have to work for a living anymore. Our son was born shortly afterwards and he's about to have his 11th birthday party and we're still going strong. But how can you save so much? The bottom line is this, by focusing on happiness itself, you can lead a much better life than those who focus on convenience, luxury, and following the lead of the financially illiterate herd that is the TV ad absorbing middle class of the United States and other rich countries today. Happiness comes from many sources, but none of these sources involve a car or purse upgrades. No matter what the herd or the TV set tells you, this is the truth. Far from being a social outcast, this new perspective will make you a hero among your friends. This is not a fringe activity anymore. Millions of people are fixing their lives these days, and the earlier you can accept it, the sooner you will be rich. Is that all too fluffy and philosophical? Okay, fine. Here's how to cut your life costs in half. Start by getting rid of your debt emergency if you have one. Live close to work, move to another city if you enjoy adventure, don't borrow money for cars, and don't buy stupid ones. Ride a bike wherever you can, cancel your TV service, stop wasting money on groceries, give your kids the opportunity to achieve greatness without being pampered, lose the overpriced cell phones, learn to appreciate the life-boosting joy of using your own body to get things done, learn to mock convenience, practice optimism. That should do it, about half of your expenses gone in one paragraph. Keep going as many readers do and you can save closer to 75% of what you make, especially for those with the above average incomes. But then what do I do with all the money? You invest it in stock index funds, in paying off your house and rental houses if you're interested in local real estate and in other sources as you continue to learn about making money work for you. As of 2016, my own retirement income comes from a dead simple asset allocation, a bunch of index funds at Vanguard and Betterment which pay quarterly dividends. How long will the money last? 
If you can get 25 times your annual spending saved up and working for you, that is enough to live off forever. Don't worry about the details, just do the saving for now and watch as your lifestyle transforms and your worries about safety melt away. This blog is not so much a financial nuts and bolts blog as it is a story about lifestyle and attitude transformation. And believe it or not, your attitude determines your lifetime wealth much more than your knowledge of its financial nuts and bolts. So welcome, I'm glad you're here and let's get started. For the long time readers, let's keep going. So yeah, guys, this was a great summary article for Mr. Money Mustache and it really discusses why I like his style so much. He is kind of more about the mindset than the actual nuts and bolts of doing this because he lays it out simply here, y'all. Reduce your expenses, increase your income, save and invest the difference. That, I mean, there's no secret to getting rich. You really have to question what you value and choose to spend your money accordingly. And for some people, realizing that the things that they buy are not actually bringing them long-term sustained happiness is a hard thing to realize. The paragraph where he talks about how to cut your life costs in half, y'all, I have been in the fire movement now for a couple years or more, and this paragraph, if you've been following me on my YouTube channel, you know that I still have a lot to work on. I still have a lot that I am working on to get to financial independence. How to cut your life costs in half. Start by getting rid of your debt emergency if you have one. I have a little less than $40,000 worth of debt still. Live close to work. Y'all know, do I live close to work? No, I don't. I have an hour commute one way. So yeah, that's uh, that's not ideal for people in the fire movement. Thankfully, I don't have to make that commute every single day. I only work three nights a week, unless I'm picking up extra shifts for overtime. But yeah, an hour away is not ideal. Don't borrow money for cars. I bought a new car in 2017, right as I was kind of getting into this personal finance movement. I started with Dave Ramsey and kept learning more until I discovered the fire movement and went down that rabbit hole, realized that I shouldn't have bought a new car, but here we are. One of my goals is to start aggressively paying that off in 2021. We'll get there. But yeah, don't borrow money for cars and don't buy stupid ones. I bought a stupid one because it was new. Ride a bike wherever you can. I'm too chicken for that. I admit it, I do not own a bike. Cancel your TV service. All right, there is one thing that I don't have is TV service. So stop wasting money on groceries. Arguably, this is something that I could work on. Give your kids the opportunity to achieve greatness without being pampered. Well, at least I did one better than that. I just chose not to have any kids at all. So I guess that's a money saver there. Lose the overpriced cell phones. Y'all, I did, I do have an iPhone XR. I bought it new when it came out. However, I did optimize that purchase. I opened up a new credit card with a sign on cash back bonus that got me, I think $300 back if I recall correctly. And then I also sold my old iPhone that I had at the time for either 200 or 250. So I bought this phone new, yeah, but I bought it outright and I saved $550 on the purchase, so at least I didn't pay full price for it, right? And I plan on using it for many years to come. So if you're gonna buy new nice things, try to optimize that purchase if you can. Learn to appreciate the life-boosting joy of using your own body to get things done and learn to mock convenience. Well, I've been doing that lately, that is for sure. I have been doing so much work around the house here and y'all, admittedly, I don't enjoy the work when I'm doing it, but when I get through and I can see how things are looking around here, it really does make me feel good to know that I have put my own sweat equity into this place to make it look nice and really feel like home for me. And lastly, practice optimism. Well, thankfully I'm kind of a naturally optimistic person, so I have that going for me. But yeah, this one paragraph hit me like a ton of bricks because there is so much that I could be doing better. And y'all, I will do better. I'm still gonna get to financial independence one day. That is why I started this whole YouTube channel to show y'all my journey to get there, starting from a position of debt. I had a negative net worth when I started this YouTube channel. So over time, y'all will be able to see the progression as things improve. So yeah, I hope that y'all enjoyed this article by Mr. Money Mustache. I'll link to all of the other Mr. Money Mustache posts that I have done at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all next Monday for the next episode. Bye guys.